Last night, my dad and I tied up a huge fishing rig. It's about 20 feet long. It's got six big hooks on it. And today we're gonna be droning that rig out to see how many fish we can catch at one time using this one rig. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. I've never tried anything like this before, but I'm excited to try it, especially since I have the drone technology. It's gonna be awesome. On a sabiki? Yeah. Heck yeah. I knew that our sabiki would work because they're they're attacking little tiny, little tiny things. I nice dad. That's good. So sabikis actually work for bait. Okay, today is all about fishing with six hooks. To catch the bait, we're gonna use six hooks. We got our skip beaky rig right here. And actually this has five hooks. The main line is tied with 30 and each branch line is tied with 20. It's really easy to put this onto the actual rod. You just take it out and then this side goes with the sinker. On. He's on another one. Ah. He's using a skibiki right now. Gone? Yeah, it got, it got my hook. I think it took the hook. Okay, this side goes onto the rod. If you guys haven't used a sabiki rig before, our skibiki rig works really well for all kinds of different kinds of bait fish, as well as just fish in general. You'll catch a ton of fish just using a sabiki. And the best part is you do not even need to use bait on it. You can just catch them just with these flies that I tied on here. See that? Five flies tied on. Now I'll get a sinker. Instead, actually, I'm gonna use a little spoon as a sinker. So I have another chance to catch a fish using that too. And I'm fishing with my five piece travel rod right here. This five piece travel rod is awesome because it breaks down to this big. I can bring it in my backpack anywhere I go. See a ton of fish out here. Looks like great bait. Let's go catch some fish. One fish so far, right? Oh yeah, Papa's on a fish. Did you bring it in on the surface? No, the fish on the surface. I crank it in on the surface. Give him no chance to bite off the hook. Nice job, Dad. We we'll save like three or four of them. So Mickey does the job. Find the fish first. Right there, find them. Maybe I need a heavier sinker. I'm only using one ounce. Hoopa, hoopa. We're on. Hoofa. You gotta look for the fish, like you said. Wherever they're jumping, you gotta throw it. Oh. Yes, sir. There we go. Yeah, skibiki rig for the win. No bait needed. Look at those teeth. We're gonna use these as live bait later. Okay, so when I'm fishing this, I'm letting it hit the bottom, then I'm jigging it up, then letting it hit the bottom, then jigging it up, reeling at the same time. And this action makes those flies look like it's behaving very erratically. Hey. <laughs> look at the baby. <laughs> uh -huh. Whoa, look what I got. Some kind of bait fish right here. What are they? Bait fish? Looks like some kind of herring or something. 
Well, we're trying to use um, lures and spoon, but I noticed that they only attacking little tiny fish, a silver fish. So this is a closer we can get. But um, well, I'll try a couple of sling and I got one. Was it on the bottom? Yeah. Bottom? Uh, no, I just jig them and they saw it and they go, go crazy. We've got enough bait. We're gonna cut them up into cut bait and put them out onto our enormous sabiki. I've got a huge sabiki that I made that I'm gonna drone out. This thing is about 20 feet long. He's on another one. That's a bluefish. Man, that sabiki rig works for everything. Now the reason why the sabiki rig is working so well is those, those fish are not after a lure this big. I was trying to throw a lure this big for a long time and nothing attacking it. That's crazy because you see so many fish out here attacking on the surface. They're hitting little tiny fish. That's why when you put on little tiny flies, they're attacking it. So right now I'm setting up my big rod because I have a huge sabiki that I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out there. The thing with this is that it's pretty much a high-low rig except there's six dropper loops on it. If I'm gonna be droning it out, I need a lot of line on there. Also, who knows what's out there? So I've got a big rod and a big reel. This is a 14,000 size Stella. A Shimano Stella is like one of the best reels that you can get. It's a pretty nice, hefty rod. In order for my six hook rig to get, stay out there, I need a heavy sinker. So three ounce won't work. I'm probably gonna to need to do throw like five to six ounce so it'll hold out there. Here's our rig. I always keep my rigs on our rig spool here. This is why I created the rig spool, so I wouldn't get any more tangled rigs. This is the first hook. Look at how many hooks is on here. And I've tied these using long shank, long shank hooks in case anything like a bluefish or something with sharp teeth like Spanish mackerel. If they bite this, it won't break the line. It'll just bite right into the metal and they can't bite through that. So now I'm tying my main line, attaching it to the two-way swivel here, right? Now from here, we, the other end is the sinker end. I think I'm gonna put about a five ounce on there. Be a little heavier, six? Six? Half five. Good. Let's just do six just in case, yeah? This is half a pound to hold it out there. Man, I'm glad that sabiki worked right away like that. Here's half a pound sinker on a pyramid. Okay, Dad, you're gonna cut up the bait. Yeah. I'm gonna set up the Swell Pro drone. This thing is gonna help us drop it out there. I like that it comes in this case too. All right. So easy to set up. I want to identify what actually the Spanish mackerel eat, what kind of bait they're taking. You should open up the first fish you got and figure it out what they eating out there, right? So I'm doing right now. All right, my drone is set up. I think half of it will work. I think you should do the whole thing, let them float. Okay. This is gonna be so awesome. I've always wanted to try this. There we go. We're gonna put the loop inside here and then we're gonna close it like this. See, so when, when, the, uh, when I'm ready to drop it, I'll do this and it comes off and we can drop it however far we want. Okay, ready? All right, we're gonna drop it past sandbar. You see that? Get a good shot of that. Holy crap, that thing is cool. Everyone's looking at this. How much line we have? A lot? Tell me when to drop it. Huh? Okay, we're dropping. All right, reel that in. Safely landed. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, with this long rig, I'm hoping to get many fish at one time. So when one hops on, I'll set the hook, I'll just leave it. Maybe more will come along. But as I wait, I'm gonna set up my other rigs, which are just two hooks and in close. 
and see what I can catch. At the same time, this is gonna be out there with a bunch of hooks. We don't know what we're gonna catch either way, so we're gonna see which works better, the long line versus just two hooks. I'll bait this up with shrimp. Meanwhile, my dad's getting back on that. So I've hooked Sabiki rig. He's a Sabiki master. He showed me all about the Sabiki rig when I was a little kid. He's just loved using the Sabiki rig ever since, you know, we've been fishing for a while now. I've always known him to love using the Sabiki rig. So I'll put some shrimp on this one. And just this, this one will go in close. Sometimes the fish aren't out far. Sometimes they're just really close like this. And then my last rod, I'll do medium distance. So we got short, medium, long. He's on already. Nice job. So every rig that we're using is hand tied by us. This is a high low rig that we make and we also sell on our website. My dad's Gabiki rig, we make and sell those as well. For that long line, we specialty tied this up at home because we thought it would be a great idea to try that out. Now let's just wait for a fish. We got everything out there. Maybe I'll throw my skibiki rig out there. Oh, this one looks like it's getting tapped. This one looks looking like something's hitting it. It just went slack. Oh, that the, the long line is on one. All right, I set the hook on that. There should be a fish on there, but I'm gonna leave it. Oh, I'm just gonna leave it. See what's on here first. Oh, it's gone. I was messing around too much. We're all on fish. Oh, I'm off. Yeah, there's still a fish on it. I'm gonna leave it. Oh, I'm on a fish here. Little blue fish. This is good bait, but it's a little bit small. I'm gonna let this go. I think it needs to be 12 inches. We're on. There's just a lot of fish biting right now. Yeah. Spanish mackerel, oh no, it's a bluefish. Little trumpa blue. You know, these aren't the biggest ones, but honestly, this, this size bluefish is really good for ceviche. And I think that's what we're gonna do today. Make it into ceviche. All right, let's go check that long line right now. Yeah, there's definitely a fish on it. Let's just see what it is. Maybe next time we'll leave it for longer. Ooh, it's pulling, it's pulling. No? I'm really curious to see what we got here. I'm hoping that every, every hook is a fish on there. This is so cool. This is so, hey, you got a bite on that first one. Just a single bluefish on that. See, I should have left it out for longer, I told you. Next time we know, we're gonna leave it for a little bit longer. Let's see what else happened to the bait. Nothing touched this one. Nothing touched this one. This one got bitten in half. This one got bitten off. And the only thing that landed was this last one right here. That's another one for the bluefish ceviche pot. Perfect size for it.
already. I'm just gonna set the hook. Should have let that out deeper. You have that, uh, that many lines left. I don't want you to. Lose. It's a little jack. Another. Another tiny jack. I think I'm gonna switch the bait. You on? What you got? No, no, bring it in, bring it in. Come on, it's a good workout. Look at those biceps. Look at those biceps. That's why you're going to the gym, right? Also, good job getting it out. I thought it was gonna be stuck. We're gonna have to tie it all up again. <laughs> I got a bite on here. Oh, it broke me off. Dang it. What is that? Just a little chopper blue? Oh, that's not that small. Look how many fish tried to bite and eat up the bait though. All right, we're gonna have to fly it out again. I'm not sure it's not worth it to just get one blue fish at a time. No, but we just have to leave it. Huh? You just have to leave it. That's what I'm thinking. Leave it for longer? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna switch it up. Time to use some mullets on the long line. One mullet each or what? Half a mullet. Okay. So we only need three of them then. Half a mullet each. All right, let's go try these on. Put this one by the head. We're gonna do head tail, head tail. How many mullets are on this rig? I don't wanna get it stuck again. We're gonna go further this time. Here we go, lift off. Here we go, everyone look at me. It's me. How much line we got? I'm dropping it here. Dropping. Coming home. I'm so good at flying this thing. We're gonna try and see how many fish we can get on, on one rig at a time. This one can catch up to six of them. So our, our strategy here is to set the hook on one and just leave it. Every time a new fish comes along, maybe it'll hook itself. What's going on with the other rods? Whoa, whoa, that one hit hard. Close in, nice. It's shaking like crazy. It's a pompano. That's a good one. This is a bigger one. All right, I'm gonna let it go. That's a good size one though. But we want we want the good little cocktail ones. These are a little bit big. there's nothing on here anymore. We might have waited for so long that there's nothing on there anymore. I think, first of all, they didn't like the mullet. No, there's nothing on there. They didn't like the mullet. And second of all, we waited so long that everything just came off. So I think next time I'm gonna set the hook and just bring it back. What we try to do now is stick. Oh, they took them all, Brendan. It did eat it all. It did eat it all. And I lost my sinker. So far, it's seeming like this is not working that well because it takes a long time to, to drone it out. 
takes a really long time to actually set it up and drone it out just to get one fish. Doesn't really seem like it's worth it to me. These other rods, I'm getting fish left and right. All right, one more try. All right, we're going up. This time we're not going so far. We're going in closer. I think right here, right? Just past this breaker right here. Dropping. All right, I thought that was, that's a pretty good spot. Not too far. Tiny jack. Yeah, it's a little jack. You know, you jacked my good Goliath Cooper out there. I, th I think the Skibiki rig, that Skibiki Sabiki rig that we have, it works better than this one because we caught a ton of fish on that one. This one, we're catching fish, but it, we had to drone the whole thing out. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do that. Just rest. There's no fish. Okay, so I finally brought it in. Look at this, completely torn up. I mean, nothing's gonna hit that anymore. But the thing is, I didn't get any fish on it. I'm beginning to think that this was just a better idea in my head, and it doesn't really work that well in reality because, first of all, droning it out takes a long time to drone out. It just seems like by the time I get it out there, even when I do get bites, it's really hard to land all the fish. Even if I did have multiple fish on here, some of them are coming off. You know, it's getting bitten, and then when I bring it in, it's just one fish. Whereas these other two rods, I can just cast them real close in. I'm getting two fish, I'm getting one fish, I'm getting plenty of fish without having to do, you know, the whole droning thing. So, in my opinion, this doesn't work as well as I thought it would. I love using the Skibiki rig, and I also love using those high-low rigs, and both of these are really easy rigs that is accessible to everyone. I thought I was being creative with this, didn't work very well. That's my conclusion. I'm grateful I had the drone so I can try this and I was even able to like get it out there. Without the drone, I would have to use like a kayak or I wouldn't even get it out there. You know, it's really hard to get it that far out there. Some places it's not legal to use drones. So you got to check your area to see if it's legal or not. Okay, so big shout out to Swell Pro. Thank you guys for, for giving us these, these uh, Swell Pro drones. They've been really game changer for us and we're coming up with new ways to use it. And hopefully you guys can check out their site and get one for yourself. Try and experiment yourself. It's so fun to be out here fishing and uh, you never know what you're gonna catch. That's really my favorite part about this. Had an awesome time out here with my dad. Like this is just my like dream vacation. It's just like being out here with my parents, my wife, and just being out here and catching fish. It's really great. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. We love teaching people how to catch fish on the beach. We specialize in providing you guys the ultimate beach fishing experience, and we've got all the gear you need. All you have to do is check out our website, heyskipperfishing.com. We've got bundles where all you need to do is just buy the bundle, come out to the beach, attach it to your rod, cast it out, and you'll start catching fish. I'm talking this bundle has sinkers, it has rigs, it has bait, it has a box, it has rig spools, it has Invisithread, all the stuff that you need, you don't need to think too hard because beach fishing shouldn't be so confusing. I'm here to help you guys. See you guys next week.